So this uh, end mill is just worn a little bit right on the corners of the cutting edges. It's just worn off just enough so that it's not cutting very nice. So we're going to sharpen it up on a surface grinder. I've got a Malco indexing unit on the magnetic chuck on the grinder and I've lined up the flutes just roughly by eye across this direction um, and we can just index this round so that we get all four cutting edges the same And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind this over this away a little bit. I've got a stop, retractable stop on the table of the grinder. So I'm going to get that over to there, that back in, bring that back. And I'm not sure that that looks quite right, that looks like that needs to come over a bit more. The idea is that the, the curve of the wheel does the job of providing your rake on the cutting edge or the cut sorry not the rake the clearance angle so I'll have a quick look at that I think it's not quite right I think it needs to go over a bit that's really not quite right so I think what we'll do I'm just gonna nudge the whole thing over Right, I've got to nudge the whole thing over. I just released the magnetic chuck for a bit. Push that across. That looks a bit more like it. And we'll give that a go. Put the mag base on. So that has started to clean up just a little bit too far to this side. So I'm gonna I could either adjust the stop, which has got a, an adjusting screw on it, or I can just nudge the index unit along the bit, which is what I'm gonna do.
even, so I'm going to come down a, another thou or two. thinking that might have just done enough. Oh come on focus camera. Yeah that should have just done enough to give that an edge. Let's take it out of the chart and have a better look. Well, I think ideally what we should do is, is grind this bit back to leave a narrower land across here. Which we could do in the same fashion, just adjust the position of the, the part as it goes underneath the grinding wheel. And if we move it further along this way, we'll be having more of an angle on the wheel. So we could do that, but... Um, yeah, I need this car right now. I'm just going to have a have a go at using it as it is. So what I've got to make is one of these, which is um, an adapter for a temperature sensor to fit into a water pump housing. And I think this is actually just an extension. This was the or the remains of the original temperature sensor, which was fitted to the thing donkeys years ago. Um, but the rebuild is going to have a more modern one, which is this, and this is a 12 by 1.5 mil thread, and this end is 5 eighths UNF. So yeah, we're just going to make another one of these, pretty much the same, 5 8 UNF thread this end, but drilled and tapped 12 by 1.5 for that to go in. And uh, I think it needs to be that sort of size because they don't want this sticking out any further than that inside the, the water pump housing. So that's it, and um, I think I will probably make it out of a piece of brass, because I've got some.